Hi, it is a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, um, so before we get started, I think I should introduce myself. My name is Petra, and I am our leading and only a cryptozoologist and paranormal sketch artist in this county. Yeah, uh, you like to see my badge before we get started? Of course, of course, of course. Here it is. You can take a look. Yeah. Mm hmm. It is an alien. You're correct. Uh, we call him Alfred or Allie, just depending on how uh, close you are to him. Oh, that's not that's not what you meant. More of a, a sheriff's badge. Okay, well, this is a volunteer position. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Um, and actually, my daddy is a sheriff, so I don't have a police badge. Okay, well... You're okay with that? Okay, that's good. That's good. But a lot of people aren't too happy when they hear about that, but that's fine. So, you saw two creatures, what uh, I've been told yesterday. One at 7 a.m. and one in the evening, about 10.30. Okay, okay. That is quite interesting. I've been spending most of my life in hopes to find a creature, and here you are, just randomly sitting too. It's funny how things work out like that, you know? How many clients have I had? Uh, you will be my second. How long have I been working here? Five years. Yeah, um, so it has been quite a dry spell, but... You like to see my other work? Of course, of course, of course. Let me just... One second. Alright. So this was from my previous client. Two years ago, I believe. Uh, essentially, it was a Tinder date gone wrong, as you can see. Oh, why am I whispering? Uh, well, they are too happy about this apartment in the actual police station, so they've asked me to keep it down with my jibber-jabber because it disrupts, actually, you know, police work. <laughs> as if this isn't police work. Very rude if you ask me. Anyway, as you can see, um, this woman seems to be affected by, I don't know, my, my accent got all weird. Maybe I'm possessed by Irish ghost. I don't know. Very weird. Very weird. Oh, chills, you know. Anyway, um, so, as you can see, this woman has some bat marks, um, and just is overall decomposing, it looks like, and has, um, uh, black eyes so yeah so basically it was it was kind of a catfish situation to be honest uh this man said that he was on tinder you know dating app you're familiar um and she was very much live in the picture and when he saw her at Chili's you know um she still was very pretty and attractive and had uh, same haircut, same clothes as her Tinder profile. That's how he knew it was her. Unfortunately, she was um, a zombie, and she also brought brains to Chili's, which is not only a health code violation, but I just think plain rude. You know, why are you bringing your own food to a restaurant? You gotta pay for that stuff. You know, I. Um, also, it just. Really, the only reason you would bring a brain to a date if you were a neurosurgeon and you were running late and you just forgot you had a brain in your hand. And she said in her Tinder bio, bio that she worked at Barnes & Noble, so there was really no reason for her to be holding a brain. Yeah, that is a cute swimsuit, you're right. I asked him, I said, did you by any chance ask her where she got her swimsuit? And he said, no I didn't, I almost died, I was on a date with a zombie. Why would I ask those questions? I said, okay, you know, just a question, looking for some swimsuits. Anyway, so that is my only other reference for you. As you can see, my art skills aren't ideal, uh, frankly, probably any 12 year old child could draw at this level or better but you know it is what it is so let's get started shall we let me just try to find an empty page and these are my own sketches that i just like to sketch okay. 
got? I found. Let's see. Yeah. Found an empty page. So let's get started. So, before we get started, so you said it was April 3rd. Okay. And what time? 7 a.m. You already said that. I'm sorry. No need to be testy. In the forest. Okay. And while we are in the forest, you're camping. Camp. Then, sure is fun. Did you make any s'mores? You did? Look nice. Very tasty. Anyway, so where was this creature, the first one you saw? In the river. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what size was it? Average size. Okay, um, I, I need you to be a little more specific than just average size. Medium sized. Okay. In reference to what? A, do a medium sized dog. Okay. That's a little more helpful. Okay. And how, what, what, what type of body did it have? It was chubby. That's a little rude, don't you think? Not rude, just being honest. Okay. Jeez. Alright, round little body. What about the face? What shape was that? Also round. I look like like the cartoon character? Face did? Okay. That's very weird. Okay. And the eyes. They were kind of eyes. Probably wanted to be your friend. You probably scare off when you scream when you saw it. Well, it hurts feelings. You don't care. Okay. Kind of cold. Just being honest. Okay. And how many limbs did it have? Four. Okay. Um. And two front, two back, I'm assuming. Okay. And did they have any digits? It did. Okay. Okay, probably so it could swim. I'm assuming. Okay. Did you have a tail? It, like a fluffy tail. No. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay. I. I. Okay. Well. Uh. Let's just get started on the second creature. I'm just gonna open a new page. So you saw this creature. 10:30. You already said that, right? Just making a note of it. 10:30 p.m. And how tall was this creature? Eight feet. Eight feet? Okay. Are you sure? Because you know people like to lie about their height. I dated a guy. He claimed he was 5'10". I swear to God, he was only 5'6". He was like, okay, you know, measured him in his sleep. That's how I, that's how I ended up finding out. Um, it was eight, you could tell. Okay. So, what was the facial shape? Okay. Expression looks very interesting. Very spooky. Very exciting. Okay. Oh, really? That big? Alright. It was red. Red eyes. Okay, I'll make a note of that. Oh, yeah, I can't draw. We don't have the funds, really. At all. They just gave me this pen and pencil. Didn't even have an eraser. So. I do what I can. Um, and the body was kind of, okay, covered in feathers, my god. It was white, okay. And wings, very interesting, okay. Again, covered in feathers. Any arms? Not that you can tell, okay. Legs, like tree trunks. With elf feet? I'm sorry, I'm not really familiar with that term. Oh, just like, okay, like, yeah, yeah, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Just doing a little shading. Make it look nice, yeah. But you have time for that. Okay. Jeez. Alright, interesting customer. We never only have two, so what do I know? Alright. So I think we are done. So I have some bad news, good news. Um... You can decide which switch. So, 
the first creature. Um, pretty sure, based on your description, is a platypus. Yeah, um, that, that isn't a mythical creature, that's a known, known creature. In fact, I did my 7th grade, uh, report. We could choose any creature and I chose a platypus. Yeah, I, I, I realize it looks like a, a duck beaver. Um, it is odd, but doesn't mean it's not real. I mean, all, I mean, all creatures are real, all supernatural creatures, but this is kind of a known one. Science, science agrees, exists. Yeah, very kind creatures. Yeah, they, yeah, they lay eggs, actually, interestingly enough. But they are considered mammals. You could probably find a book in the library about it. So, unfortunately, this is not what we consider a supernatural creature. Um, however, your second animal, or creature, I'm very excited to say, is the Mothman. The infamous Mothman of Pleasantville, Virginia. Yeah, look, look at it. Is this what you saw? It is. Mm, yep. It's quite famous. I, I don't know if you're familiar. But there was a movie called The Mothman Prophecy starring Richard Gere of Pretty Woman and Durable Fame. You weren't familiar. Well, uh, probably for the best. He probably didn't want you to bring it up. It's not that good of a movie. He's probably been embarrassed about it. I would be. But yeah, you met a quite a celebrity. That's quite a sight and very excited. So I am going to make some flyers, post this around town, um, just so people are aware that there is a Mothman in our town. Very excited. I hope to run into him. I hope he doesn't eat me. We'll hope for the best with that one. Um, but you never know really with these creatures. They're a little unpredictable. But I'm um, so glad I met you. So glad you came in. I'll give you a handshake and you can uh, see yourself out. Very good to see you. Bye.